हेलो फ्रेंड्स यर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन स्क्वेर पिरामिड यर इज अ क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन दैट ए स्क्वेर पिरामिड साइड ऑफ बेस 40 एम एम एंड एक्सिस हाइट सिक्सटी एम एम हैज वन ऑफ इट्स साइड ऑफ बेस इन द एच पी ड्रॉ इट्स प्रोजेक्शन इफ द एक्सिस इज इंक्लाइंड एट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री टू एच पी एंड पैरल टू वी पी so this is the question in front of us by reading the question the type of solid is understood that it is a square pyramid so first i'll draw a rough diagram of a square pyramid and explain the initial conditions now this is a square pyramid having a square at the base it means it has four base edges and there are four triangular faces next all the base edges they are connected to a common vertex which is point o and now when i read the question it is given that Square pyramid side of base 40 mm and axis height 60 mm has one of its side of base in the HP. It means the pyramid is resting in HP. If it is resting in HP, it means it is resting on a ground. So when it is resting on the ground, from the top, it the pyramid will appear like a square. And for that, I am going to draw two conditions. now these are the two conditions for the square pyramid it means here is point o which is the vertex and these are the four triangular faces as they would be looking from the top now here this square prism can be kept in this way which is the first condition this condition is that the square pyramid is resting on its edge this is the resting edge and the other condition shows that the pyramid is resting on its corner so there are two conditions in which the pyramid can be rested either on the edge or on one of its corner so if i read the question again it is said that square pyramid side of base 40 mm and axis height 60 mm has one of its side of base in the hp so if it is given that it, there is a side of base it means it is resting on this edge and not the corner so out of the two conditions the first condition is correct so this will be the initial condition that is the pyramid will look like this from the top view so let us get started with the solution to this problem so here is the xy line vp vertical plane hp horizontal plane i need to draw the initial condition for the square pyramid the side of base is 40 
so this is the initial condition and here i'll make the edges dark So in this way the pyramid will look from the top here I'll give the notations to it Next this is the top view of the square pyramid after that I will be drawing the front view projecting the points upwards and here there is an apex which is point O The height of the apex is given as 60 mm so I'll mark 60 over this the apex is seen as a point in the top view and it will be seen as a line in the front view with point O dash now here I will be joining these edges to complete the pyramid in the front view Points 1 and 2 they are coinciding actually this 1 and 2 is an edge it will be seen as a point in front view in the top view it is seen as an edge 1 to 2 whereas in the front view it will be seen as a point because both the points are coinciding here so 1 dash 2 dash next here is the apex and then points 3 and 4 it is seen as an edge in the top view whereas in the front view it will be seen as points so 3 dash and 4 dash next here this triangular face which is O 2 3 it will be seen in the front view as a triangle which is seen here and coinciding with 2 and 3 is coinciding with 1 and 4 so here there is no need to draw a dark line in between because this complete triangle is visible next I'll mark the axis here so this is the axis of the square pyramid in the question it was given that draw its projections that is of the square pyramid if the axis is inclined at 45 degree to HP if it is inclined at 45 degree to HP it means it will be seen in VP because inclination which is given with respect to any plane it will be visible in the opposite plane if it is given that it is inclined at 45 degree to HP it will be seen in VP next if it is inclined to HP it means it will be parallel to VP so inclined to one plane it means parallel to the other plane so here 45 degree to HP the axis is inclined and here I can see that axis and base they are perpendicular to each other so when the axis is inclined at 45 degree in that case the base will also be inclined at 45 degree so here I'll draw an angle at 45 degree means I'll be tilting the pyramid onto the right hand side so taking an angle of 45 degree drawing a light line now 
here what i am doing is tilting the square pyramid about the edge 3 4 so when it is tilted about the edge i have to draw that pyramid so first thing is i'll mark the base base is up till here i am keeping the point and marking this base the same distance i'll be plotting it here then axis so here we have this is point 3 dash comma 4 dash this is One dash, comma two dash, and this line indicates the axis. So keeping a point here and drawing a ninety degree line, which will be for the axis. As axis height is known to us. the same axis height i'll take it from the initial condition and plot it over here so this gives me point o dash and joining them in the sequence so this is the tilted pyramid in which the axis is inclined at 45 degree given so when the axis is inclined at 45 degree even the base is inclined at 45 degree because axis and base they are 90 degree to each other so the remaining angle is 45 degree next i'll draw it dark making the edges dark next here i have tilted the square pyramid and this is the front view of that tilted pyramid next i'll have to draw the top view so for that the observer is here and when the observer is looking from the top or if we are looking from the top the closest point to us is the apex that we have to project it first so here i'll project the apex from the top view and then from the front view so this gives me point o which is the apex next when i'm looking from the top this edge which is 1 dash 2 dash is also visible so which is closest to me so i'll draw it first or project it first so here 1 dash will be in the top view this is point 1 on the same line we have point second as well point 2 next for 3 and 4 i'll draw the projections so here there is point 3 and point 4 now i have to connect the points based on the visibility so when looking from the top point o which is apex is visible now here after i have completed the front view of the tilted pyramid 
the next thing would be to draw the top view based on the visibility if i see here as an observer when this pyramid is tilted the triangular face o 1 2 will be in front of the observer which can be seen as a line in the front view it means from o to 1 and 2 this will be a complete triangular face which we can make it dark so first i'll draw it light and then i'll make it dark after that see whenever we are drawing in case of projection of solids the outlines are never hidden so we can make the outlines dark like here i can join from o to 4 and o to 3 now i'll make it dark so this is the tilted pyramid these are the visible portion which i can say here that is the triangle or the triangular face 0 1 2 is visible the triangular face 0 1 4 is visible and the triangular face 0 2 3 is visible but there is an edge 3 to 4 about which the square pyramid was tilted and when it is tilted about that edge from the top view that edge won't be visible because it is going away from the observer so it means when i would be connecting 3 to 4 it needs to be connected with the help of hidden lines or dashed lines so edge 3 to 4 is not visible then i'll project the axis in the top view and finally giving the dimensioning base edge is of 40 mm side and axis height is 60 mm given Sixty and inclination of the axis is forty-five degree. So here, as it was given in the question, there is a square pyramid resting on it, one of its base edge. Then that pyramid was tilted at forty-five degree to HP, which is seen in VP. And for that, we have to draw the projections of front view and top view. We have completed with this, and with this, we complete the problem.